hey guys, it's time for the bullshit to stop, so we're going to have to have a little chat. So, I'm on my way to run an errand, but we need to have this discussion anyway. Here's the deal. If someone disagrees with you, that is not a hate crime. If someone has an opinion about something, that does not make them fall into a specific category. If somebody questions something, it doesn't make them a conspiracy theorist. If someone doesn't like one particular thing, it doesn't make them anti that entire particular theory or subject. And, you know, we're getting into some dangerous, dangerous territory that some of you guys may not be noticing. Now, for those of you that don't know, I was a political science major. <clears throat> And I was also an attorney. I love to study and I love to study law and government and political systems and all of those things. Why? Because it's interesting and because we tend to create, you know, repeating historical patterns and it's time for us to stop. Well, here's one of the historical patterns that we have always been able to identify. Once we stop letting people speak and have individualized opinions, we are in trouble. We're going towards something that has never, ever, ever benefited us. So it's really important for us as people to not be policing each other to the extent that we are actually going to prevent open, honest communication at a level that is just going to create thoughtful, critical thinking, right? There is a difference between um, injustices. There is a difference between, you know, hate and uh, attack online and attack in personal lives and so on and so forth and critical thinking and communication and it's absolutely time for us to make that distinction and it's really really important so what can you all do what you can do is you can start to train yourself to notice the difference and to not attack delete or cancel people for saying things that maybe you don't agree with also don't put people in large very inappropriate categories based on single factor components and pay attention to the fact that you are going to want everybody is going to want no matter what your political opinion no matter what your stance is you are going to want us to be able to maintain critical thinking as well as critical communication and absolutely most importantly question everything the ability to question things is one of our most important uh, sovereignty aspects as individuals and um, under the rights of our governments so this is really really important